Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Forms. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a simple form and how you can create a form in a group that you've created in Planner. So, first of all, at the top left there, I've selected Forms from my apps. There it is. If you don't have it sitting in this list, you might have to click on All Apps to find it. But there it is. I'm already on it. I'll just reload it so you can see it coming up. So what it shows is forms that I've already created. So I want to create a new one and I'm going to create one here and then I'm going to create one down in this group, Microsoft Projects, because I've already got one in that group. Let's do this one first. So, so new form gives you the option to title the form. So I'll just put football training location. That's the title. Now you've got the option of a form description there. I change the title to football um, training sessions. I'll just call it football training. That might make it easier. So form description. Um, I'm just going to insert a new option. So when you click on insert new, you get this list of questions. Choice. I'll click on that one first off. So the question is which location I'll say and then you, you've got to fill in the options so you're just giving some options here so I'll just do like a few places I'll do three places Sunderland Newcastle and Leeds add another option so I've got three Leeds then you've got insert new and get a different sort of thing so I'll go for text this time so this is um, travel, or oh, are you willing to travel? I suppose I could have done a yes, no there. Are you willing to travel? So write your answer there. So that could have been a different type of question there. So I could delete that or move it up or down or change uh, the question. I can copy the question. I can edit the question, but I'm just going to create a new one. Uh, but now I've got a rating, I've got a date there. I'll click on the date. What is the best date? And then you've got a little calendar at the end there. You can click on once this form gets published. And I'll, be, I'll leave it like that now. So if I tick this, so that's got to be required. That's That's got to be filled in. So at the moment, I've just got two, three questions. Very simple. And... You've got the four questions. I've got this one, the first one I did down the bottom there. You've got this option here where you can collapse this down. You can move them up. So I'll move that to the top. Um, so now that's gone to the top. And you can adjust this by doing that with any of these. On the end there, you've got like three ellipses. You've got subtitles and you can add branching. But this is just a very simple one. I'm just going to click on preview so I can have a look at this. This is what it looks like and then you just basically fill it in so where do you want the session i'll put online in sunderland yes and a date i'd, ra I'd rather it be on the 9th then i'll submit the form your response will submit it then you can go back so this form is saved as football training you can see how that works. Now, if I go back to forms, so that's the questions, there's the responses. That's the response I've just done. But if I go back to forms, just click on forms itself to get back with the rest of them. So that sits with the other forms, football training. Now, if I just go back into it for a minute, have a look at some of the other things that you can do. So I'm getting this tip all the time about adding a description. Uh, okay, I'll add a description because it's going to come up all the time. And that's the default one that's come up, so that's okay. Happy with that. If I preview this, that's what it's going to say now. So that was a preset, preloaded phrase that you can just use or you can type your own. If I go back. Now, what you've got in the top right -hand corner is a couple of options. Obviously, I've been clicking on this preview one, but you've got style where you can pick a different style for your form. So I'll click on that one. That's pretty cool. 
and then you've got this option here collate responses so I'll click on that so what you've got there is um, record name one person one response per person or this option or you can take the up at the top one then you've got like a, a URL to copy and or you can shorten that so it just makes this a little bit shorter not a lot shorter then this option at the top so it's an invitation this is what people are going to see you've got this to be an outlook sent by outlook or if I tick that option teams so both you can put the group email in there or an individual email this option you can change that to a QR code makes it easy for people and then you've got the actual code to embed on a web page or a SharePoint site all these options are sitting there if I close that for a second if you click on the three ellipses in the right there you've got some other options like settings that you can select so just have a quick look at settings so these are similar to what you've just looked at who can fill in the form and then you've got options for responses accept all responses or you can do it by start date end date all these you can just tick off none of these are ticked on by default but you've got the option to tick them on if you so wish so that's just in these three ellipses there and you've got other things there like print print the form etc etc so that's all I want to do on this one but let's go back to forms and then if I open it again and then just preview it what I want to do is just fill it in again so at the moment I mean I've got that this is a video playing obviously so if I just preview this so this is how it's going to look to anybody filling in so I'll click on start where do you want the session to be I'll put mine and in Sunderland and willing to travel yes and a date I'll just put a different date and then submit thanks now if I go back I've got responses there if I click on responses those are the two responses that I've just done and what you've got here is open in Excel so you've got a link to Excel if I click on that it should open up Excel if I just double click it down there it's downloaded that opens up Excel and then all the responses will be placed in a spreadsheet so you can have a look at how they've all responded and there they are I'm the person that's responded twice so you've got the options there enable editing if you want to do anything to that and I'll just close this one down come back to forms so that's creating a form in forms but as I said earlier on if I go to forms and into a group you can also create a form in a group so this group here hasn't got a form so I've created this group in planner if I go on that you've got new group form so this is for the group so and these are the people in the group so there's just two people plus one other member creating a new form new form same process you're picking a title you're picking a description and you're adding your questions so titled um, move office I'll call it um, best location for our new office so first one is going to be a choice and where is the best location and then we'll give the options again of Leeds Newcastle and just to be different add Derby and then next question down you've got text choices what I've just done text um, online or physical so an online office or physical and I'll say that has to be answered and then you've got all this sort of stuff down here I don't need to add all these in um, let's go for a date time to move and then they pick the date there and again that is required um, that's all I want on this one so 
let's click on preview to have a look I need to fill this one in so I'll just go there's a mistake there look online best time and then submit obviously that needs to be fixed because there's a typo there at the top I didn't notice so get rid of that get rid of the five so this is saved automatically as soon as you make a change so that's okay if I go um, back to forms that will now be sitting inside that group so you can create a form standalone or you can create a form inside a group so you've now got a form inside Microsoft project so that's all I want to talk about in this little video is how you can create forms in the forms app or in a group so hopefully that's been of use thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one